Hey up lads, how's it going? So, it is pretty easy to do, but graphics card overclocking. It is not as big as what it once was. But anyways, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Easy way to squeeze about an extra 5% out of your system. And I'm gonna show you how to overclock that. Please be aware if you are overclocking your graphics card, it is always better to do it when it has the extra power coming from the power supply instead of coming straight through the PCIe slot. Low power cards shouldn't really be overclocked. You can maybe get an extra couple of megahertz out of them, but with graphics cards with a uh, PCIe power, you can overclock them pretty much. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Right, on the PC now, these are the programs which you need. I'll link them down in the description. You'll need a benchmarking tool slash stress test. Unigen Heaven is what I use. It is pretty old, it's a DirectX 11, but it is still force any graphics card to go up to pretty much 100%, 95 and above. MSI Afterburner to actually apply the overclock. Reva Statistics Tuner is another one which gets bundled with MSI Afterburner. I recommend that to see your temperatures and percentages while you're in game anyway. Another good one to have is Tech Power Up GPU Z. This tells you all about your graphics card, so the GPU clock, even what BIOS version it has. This will tell you everything you need to know about your graphics card. So when it comes to overclocking, it is best to have a profile with your stock settings on and a profile with your overclock settings. So I already have a profile with my overclock settings but I've got nothing on the core. That is profile one. Profile three, it's completely stock. So if I revert everything to a stock on that. When overclocking a graphics card, don't really touch the core voltage. It doesn't need to be touched really. And you don't want to be overvolting your card. That is, that's pretty bad. You don't want to do that. What you've got to do is squeeze the max amount of power you can out of the current voltage you have which is what I recommend. If you want to play with the voltage and you're a bit of a higher power user, that's on you. But I don't recommend it, so don't come back to me if you've blown up your graphics card. So, right. Power limit, you want to put that on 100. Temp limit, 89. That is TJ Maxx, my graphics card. It's a 1660 Ti. After that point, it will start to throttle down the performance below the base clock. Base clock is 1500 megahertz on this graphics card. Memory clock, you can easily get a thousand out of that. So we're putting a thousand out of that. Core clock, try to go up in intervals of 15. So if we leave that stock for now, leave that at plus zero now. Fan you can leave on auto the fan will just ramp up as it goes if you leave it on a hundred percent it's really loud depending on what graphics card you have my graphics card's a single fan so it does get pretty loud so right to run the benchmark make sure make sure everything is on ultra extreme everything 1080p for my graphics card my graphics card's a 1080p card that's what it's designed for if you have like an rtx 2080 ti 4k you've got to sort of judge that by yourself and it is always best to run it in wind windowed mode so you can see all your other sensors as well so right if we bring up msi afterburner now the graphics card's fully being stressed 95 percent usage that is good utilization cpu hardly gets utilized in this the reason why my usage is so high is because i'm recording and i'm recording off the cpu because heaven uses more gpu so right what i'm going to do is increase this in intervals of 15 so we'll do an extra 15 on the core clock it's getting slightly toasty now 75 degrees but we're still 15 degrees below tj max which is it's getting sort of on the hotter side but it will do and if we get to 150 There you go, 2070 megahertz there. That's what's indicated. So obviously, when you're overclocking your graphics card, test it in different games as well. 
no overclock is stable unless if all the games you play run smooth. If one of them crashes, your overclock isn't stable. But if it runs perfectly in all your games, you're fine. So do be aware when you're overclocking your graphics card. A lot of them do come overclocked out of the factory, I know that one is. That's above the recommended Nvidia spec for the base clock and the boost. But when you are overclocking, be aware of your temps and just don't push it too far and check for your external PCIe power as well. If you're on just PCIe power, don't really try overclocking it because it can uh, you can push an extra couple of megahertz out of it but really it doesn't make that much of a difference but anyways follow this at your own risk if you break your graphics card you, you have you have been warned so yeah all links to the programs will be in the description i will i will link them down and i will link a uh, overclocking guide as well so don't forget to like if you liked it dislike if you disliked it or whatever do that if you want and uh, subscribe if you want to see more so yeah goodbye